this is my week. Hello, these peoples. This past week uh, did not go quite the way I planned, as you're going to see in a second. Um, you're actually going to see Priscilla, her wisdom teeth got taken out, and then I got to the hospital. And it was like early Wednesday morning. I got nauseated, started throwing up, and by the afternoon, could not really hold um, my cookies, and I was getting very, um, very dehydrated. So I'm like, okay, I call an ambulance, and and I end up staying a few days at the hospital. Just got back. Um, I had like some type of bacterial gut thing problems. So you'll see, you'll see us in the hospital. I'm gonna show a couple minutes worth of video of me at the hospital, mostly meant for my documentary, but I'm just gonna put it in this vlog just because uh, it's kind of important to. Put it now, so I'm starting that in there. I was talking a little bit, and yeah, basically stay in the hospital. There are some people that had to come in, and since I had a bacterial problem, it's kind of contagious. Uh, whenever it, someone would be coming to visit, um, they'd have to wear like this type of plastic smock, which really doesn't really do much of anything, and they have to wear gloves and something. And I was basically quarantined in my room, but thank goodness that that is done, and I'm home and I'm recovering. So. Not quite the week I expected, but at least I'm doing better now. And hopefully next week will be better, and I'll see all you guys next week. Hello, honey. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> she just got three of her wisdom teeth taken out. And you got the gauze in the mouth, right? And she's... The first time in my life I've ever seen her walk like she's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm making fun of her a little bit. <laughs> we'll go home, okay? <laughs> how, how do how do you feel? Uh, nothing. You don't feel anything right now. Uh, it's gonna be hurting in a little while. Uh, so I think when I drop you off home, I'm gonna go to Walgreens or something and pick up the medications, uh, and uh, hopefully that'll uh -huh. that'll help. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Let's go home. Okay. Uh -huh. And you can just rest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, you too. Here I am in the hospital again. Got apparently another stricture. Yesterday I was throwing up, and vomiting pretty violently, and had to end up calling the ambulance. Got to the hospital. That was flu symptoms. Here, something different. Is my gut again? But that's not why I'm talking right now. I'll tell you more about what's being planned later. It's just basically the same old, same old gutter. Take two steps back to go three steps forward. But I was just talking just with one of the nurses and I really think that after I get this documentary done that I'm probably going to go into public speaking over this because I think people really need to hear a lot of what I have to say and I think I even influenced like this nurse. I mean, so many people can say, it's like, oh, you know, I, I wish you'd never had that disease because then you would have had a better life, but it's like, but what if I didn't have this, you know? What if I wasn't diagnosed? Would I be the same person that I am today? I don't know. I mean, it doesn't matter what happens to you, it's how you handle it. And I, mean, I was telling my wife last night that I would not change anything about my life, the good or the bad, because it made me into the person I am today. Overall, it's a good thing, and some people just got to understand that you can live in spite of pain. There are people all over the world, I mean, and if you're in another country besides America, sorry, um, but I'm just saying, from my American perspective, speaking to Americans, there are people throughout the world who don't have the quality of life that we here in America have. They don't have you know, wonderful medical facilities that, that we here in America have. They don't have the financial help that you can get in America. And yet... There are people out there in the world that are more happier 
they they live life to the fullest just because they don't have much. So I find that if you can't run towards your dreams, if you can't walk towards your dreams, crawl. You know, move onward in that happiness, because you're never gonna find happiness in things in this world. You're never gonna find happiness in this world. You gotta find happiness in you. And how I find happiness in me is mostly because of my faith. And from that, I find happiness in the people that I know, friends that I care about, friends that care about me, people that I trust in, the type of people that I know would take a bullet for me and that I would take a bullet for them. I guess I would just say, I'm never giving up on my goals, whether it be curing Crohn's, whether it be becoming a millionaire, or whether it be traveling throughout the world, or whether it be having a happy marriage, or whether it be succeeding as a filmmaker, I'm never going to give up. How is to sleep in a hospital? Haha, <laughs> it's fun. Oh, it's not the best place to be. But at least here it's like a nicer area to be and we have a comfortable sofa and uh, we have got some pillows and a blanket here so that's alright but I'm happy because tomorrow um, Ryan probably will go home that means uh, he won't be stuck here anymore and, uh, Yay, so I'm happy, but yeah, tomorrow I had to get up early in the morning so I can go home and uh, get some household items like cleaning stuff, especially for doing laundry. Uh, I, I did some cleaning last Friday before coming here, but I still need to finish. And especially to have a better place for Ryan, so when he goes home, he, he doesn't have to do anything, just but like I was saying, he's better. He's feeling much better now. But it's good. Um, but there's one only thing that I can do. I want to hug him, but I can't hug him. I can hug my man. I cannot kiss him. I cannot tickle him. He's isolated. Well, not at all, but kind of. What? Yeah, look at him. I mean, he was last Wednesday dying. He was like, I cannot get up because uh, I can't speak if I'm gonna throw up. And he was, I look at him now. I knew they had enough drugs to keep me from throwing up. So. Yeah, you love the, those drugs, eh? Well, I've never had it. Why are you becoming a druggy? I don't want a druggy husband. Yeah, he's very stinky. The, the elbows. Totally stinky. That's okay, tomorrow you will go and take a shower at home. You will be all clean, you won't be stinky anymore. Hopefully. Alright, well I guess we're gonna get some sleep tonight. Eh? Yeah, see? Okay, good night. Alright. Oh, I'm ready to get some sleep. Oh, tomorrow will be a long day. I have the feeling. But that's okay. Ciao. Hey. Hey, you. Mm -hmm. You and you. Mm -hmm. Ciao. Good night. Good night. I love you. I love you too. And by the way, I know I shouldn't be here, but what I am here because I love my husband. <laughs>